My name is Amy Gavin, Industrial Sales Manager for Analytical Industries. Today we're here to talk about the AII 4001 TrueMix Dive Gas Mix Analyzer, providing users with the ability to accurately measure dive gas mixes anywhere regardless of temperature, humidity, or altitude. During calibration, the patent pending environmental sensor measures the atmospheric pressure, relative humidity, and temperature to accurately determine the concentration of oxygen in the atmosphere. This allows the users to calibrate the instrument without the need for calibration gas, and the analyzer can be used over a wide range of temperature, humidity, and altitudes without requiring a chart or calculator. With other analyzers on the market today, the user must make those environmental adjustments using a chart or calculator. Failure to make those adjustments could lead to significant errors. For example, the atmosphere at 32 degrees Fahrenheit and 0% relative humidity contains 20.9% oxygen, but contains only 19.5% oxygen at 100 degrees Fahrenheit and 100% relative humidity. Failure to make these adjustments would lead to an error of 6.7% reading of oxygen. The AII 4001 TrueMix Dive Gas Mix Analyzer uses a proprietary algorithm to accurately measure a combination of gases including helium, oxygen, and nitrogen. Utilizing the oxygen sensor to compensate for the helium sensor, the TrueMix can accurately measure pure helium, oxygen, and nitrogen in addition to nitrox, heliox, and trimix gas mixes in any ratio. For the sake of safety, the TrueMix 4001 displays the maximum operating depth. This would be the maximum depth a diver can safely breathe a dive gas mix being sampled. The AII TrueMix 4001 Dive Gas Mix Analyzer is powered with a rechargeable 6-volt lead-acid battery capable of up to 16 hours of continuous use. The unit can be charged for total time is about 2 hours. Now keep in mind the unit can be safely plugged in your bench top for operation while charging. Now let's take a closer look at the unit. The AII 4001 TrueMix Dive Gas Mix Analyzer is built into a portable, rugged, watertight carrying case designed to withstand the harsh environment of your dive boat or dive shop workbench. When you open the analyzer, you will find the operating instructions here on the inside lid. For additional information, please refer to the owner's manual that's supplied with the analyzer. Inside the unit, in our accessory compartment, you will find the power adapter, which is to recharge your battery, and your sample tubing. Here on the face of the analyzer, we have up at the top the input for the charger. Our three buttons, we have the red button for power, the yellow button for backlight, and the green button is for calibration. I'm going to go ahead and slip off the sample manifold and expose those sensors. We have the oxygen sensor, which has a 60 month life at 25 degrees C and one atmosphere measuring less than 20.9% oxygen. And we have our environmental and helium sensor, which both offer a 10 year life. To turn on the unit, we're simply going to press the red button. And here on the display, you'll find at the top the maximum operating depth. We have helium, oxygen, and balance gas, which is representative of nitrogen. Just below that, we have the battery life indicator. And down at the bottom, we have temperature, relative humidity, and barometric pressure. Now your backlight button will automatically shut off to save on battery. To activate that, we're going to go ahead and press the yellow button, and the display will once again become illuminated. Now keep in mind, our unit is universal in that currently we have the maximum operating depth displayed in feet and the temperature displayed in Fahrenheit. If I press and hold the backlight button, your maximum operating depth is going to be in meters and your temperature is in Celsius. Calibration of the TrueMix analyzer is very simple. We're just going to expose our sensors to the surrounding atmosphere, press the green calibration button, and currently we're calibrating the oxygen sensor at the atmospheric concentration and zeroing the helium sensor at the same time. Once your unit has successfully passed calibration, that will be displayed and you're ready to start sampling. We're simply going to press back on our manifold. Now either side can be designated as an inlet or a vent. It's whatever's more convenient for you. We're going to go ahead and connect our sample tubing, which is also included with the unit. And as 
selected the BC or buoyancy control adapter to take my sample. You also have the option to go straight to the tank. If you are going to be measuring off your gas cylinder, make sure to crack that tank just to a slight hiss. That's all that's required in order to take a, a small sample. Moving on to maintenance. For the purpose of display, we've already removed the four screws that are on the face of the unit. Once those are removed, you can access the back side. Here in the back side, what we have is the PCB, the battery, and the three sensors. As far as battery replacement is concerned, all you need to do here is just loosen these screws on either side of the bracket, enough to slip this battery out, and make your disconnection from the board. Pop in your replacement, make sure everything is securely fastened down, and your battery has been replaced. When you need to replace the oxygen sensor, you're simply going to unthread this cap from the face of the analyzer, which then gives you access to the sensor to remove it and make your disconnection from the board. Pop in your replacement, make your connection back to the PCB, thread through the sensor, and re-thread on your cap. Once you have the sensors back in place, you're simply going to take this, replace the four screws, and you're ready to go. Thank you for your time today. We know you have a lot of options out there when it comes to gas analysis. If you have any questions, feel free to call our factory at 909-392-6900 or email us at info at AII1.com or visit us on the web at www.aii1.com. Thank you so much and have a great day.